Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would like uh, to call to order this May 29th, uh, 2018 Committee of the Whole meeting. Uh, let the record show that uh, all aldermen are present with the exception of Alderman Swanson, Alderman uh, Burghardt, and Alderman Radecki. Uh, Alderman Swanson is out of the country. Uh, uh, Tara Burghardt did uh, uh, leave note uh, this afternoon that she wouldn't be here, uh, but we do have a quorum, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll move on here. Uh, so to items of, to items of business. Number two, actually. Oh, two. Approve a special committee of the whole minutes from uh, April 30th, 2018, and regular committee of the whole, me whole minutes from May 14th, 2018. We have a motion. Moved by uh, McGowan, second by Alderman Marks. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, items of business. 3A, recommend suspending the rules to permit Alderman Bruno to be the COW chairman and to vote on all action items on this agenda. This requires a two-thirds majority vote of those present. Sir, uh, Alderman Kilberg makes the motion. Second by Alderman Ruby. Uh, can you please take the roll? I'd be happy to. Donald Cummings? Aye. Becky Ruby? Aye. Dean Kilberg? Aye. Craig Maladra? <laughs> Aye. Richard Marks? Aye. Jean McGowan? Aye. And Mike Bruno? Epstein. And uh, thank you for having fun with that, Alderman Maladra. Uh, Item 3B, recommend approval of special event application for Geneva Library Ice Cream Social, including road closure and police services uh, for July 11th, 2018. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Seconded by McGowan, seconded by Marks. Um, before we have any discussion, uh, if uh, Paula Kraft would like to uh, come up and Tell us about the event. Yes, I'm Paula Kraft, the PR and marketing manager at Geneva Public Library. Every year we have an ice cream social, typically in July, so it's meant to be a fun summertime event. It is open to the entire community, so it's free ice cream. What can you hate about that? <laughs> we will have a juggler this year perform, and Midwest Fun Factory will be there for some face painting as well, and of course, the ice cream. Uh, and I know that this is beyond your purview, but if you could somehow give us some vibes or some good weather, that would be fantastic. We have the event rain or shine, but obviously if the weather's not good, we have to go indoors. We would love to be outdoors. It seems like every year you're kind enough to grant us the right to close the street, and just as we're thinking about closing it, Mother Nature steps in and calls us, uh, and basically we have to take it indoors. Well, we'll take this as putting uh, Director Babica from Public Works on notice to deliver. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you can do. And all of you are invited. Again, it is an all-ages event, and it really is fun to see people from all over the community show up and just have a good time. Good. Thank you. Thanks. Is there any discussion on this event at the dais from the public? Seeing none, hearing none, uh, voice vote. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Item 3B, recommend approval. Oh, we, oh yeah, I'm sorry, we're on to C already. Alphabet's a challenge. Uh, 3C, recommend approval of special event application for Summer Sunset 5K and your races, including road closures and city services July 25th, 2018. Is there a motion? So, second. Kilberg and Marks. Um, is there anyone here representing? No. Uh, any discussion at the dais? Seeing none, hearing none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Uh, item D, recommend approval of special event application for Illinois Special Olympics torch run, including road closures and city services, June 9, 2018. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Marks. Second. Seconded by McGowan. Uh, we have a 
Sergeant Eli Rivera with the Geneva Police Department, Administrative Sergeant. Thanks, sir. So if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer you what this event is all about. Okay. Any, any questions of uh, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Oh, your microphone. Any reason why they're using Route 25? I know a lot of these events, uh, uh, we've used the, the bike, bike trail. And uh, is there a reason why they've requested uh, a state highway? That I'm aware of, nothing specific. Just uh, using the road just accommodates the number of runners that we're going to have. Um, it's going to be one lane that's going to be closed in each direction. So going eastbound on state, it's going to be the curb line, uh, lane. It's going to be the one closed. South on 25, same thing. Until they get onto the bike trail, then they go across on the bike trail to Route 31, and then the same thing going northbound on 31. They're just going to use it. So the reason is, is because of the numbers primarily. The numbers, yeah. Usually that's... Uh, what do they project as far as... The, they must have a history with this event. Uh, they, they do every year yeah. uh, throughout Kane County. A, an agency hosts, it, uh, hosts the, the run. Uh, usually they have the northern part of Kane County, uh, the, the center, which will be considered us, and then you have the south. Elgin and Aurora usually picks up the slack on, on hosting it. This is the first time we've ever done it. So uh, it was our time to try and, and uh, to step up and say we will be more than happy to host it. So Great. Hopefully they have a good event. Any other questions from the dais? Any from the audience? Uh, seeing none, hearing none. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. On to item 3E, recommend draft resolution authorizing State Route 25 road closure for Illinois Special Olympics torch run June 9th 2018. So this is related to the previous. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Marks. Second. Second by Ruby. Any discussion at the dais? Seeing none, hearing none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. On to item 3F. Recommend draft ordinance amending Title IV, Business and License Regulations, Chapter 2, Liquor Control, Section 4-2-13, License Fees and Number, adding one Class A-3 liquor license for alpaca to apparel at 426 South 3rd Street. Is there a motion? So moved. Moved by Marks. Second. Seconded by Maladra. Uh, before we have discussion, I'd like to uh, call up the proprietor, uh, Ben, I didn't catch your last name, but uh, this is the uh, proprietor. If you can uh, state your name and your, your address, your affiliation. Uh, yeah, I'm Ben Kornowski, um, 426 South 3rd Street, um, Alpaca to Apparel is the name of our business. We're new to town and we have alpacas and beehives on our farm um, in Wisconsin up by Green Bay. And um, we're new in Geneva, and we're going to have um, mead in our store, which is alcohol made from honey. It's kind of like a honey wine, um, and that's what it's licensed as, is wine. And um, then alpaca, uh, clothing made out of alpaca, alpaca apparel. So anything that you can wear in regular clothing, we make out of alpaca. And uh, you've got uh, uh, bee and honey related products too that yep. I to understand? Yep. Um, pillows, bee, little bee pillows, they're cute. Um, beeswax candles, we have honey from our beehives as well. And that's how the meat and everything fix in. My mom likes to say flowers, alpacas, and bees, oh my, instead of. <laughs> <laughs> well, very good. Uh, well, uh, thank you and welcome to town. Uh, is there any questions of uh, Ben? Okay, uh, well, seeing none, hearing none, uh, all those in favor of uh, this item signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, we're good, passed unanimously, congratulations. And Thank you. the official vote will be uh, next week, uh, oh wait, what's, June 4th. June 4th. Okay, uh, thank you. Thanks. Okay, item 3G. 
Uh, recommend draft ordinance amending Title IV Business and License Regulations, Chapter 2, Liquor Control, Section 4 2 13, License Fees and Number, adding one Class B3 liquor license for the Walrus Room at 415 West State Street. Do we have a motion? Moved by Maladra. Second. Seconded by Kilberg. Uh, before we entertain discussion, I'd uh, like to offer, we've got uh, Marshall McCarty, who's the proprietor of this business. If you could just state your name. And, yeah. And, and uh, Marshall McCarty, the business is at 415 West State Street, Suite 5, right behind uh, Riley Drug. So I'm sure we're familiar with that. I uh, moved here a couple years ago with my wife. Uh, we live in Pepper Valley and opened Nobel House. I uh, was the opening executive chef for them, if you all are familiar with that place. And uh, just more recently had the opportunity to uh, get out on our own, kind of a lifelong dream of ours to have our own restaurant. And Geneva's been such a great town. We hope to have uh, a nice addition to what is already a good restaurant community here. So uh, the Walrus Room is going to be a... Um, a, a supper club of sorts. We uh, hope to put a kind of a modern twist on the, the traditional Wisconsin or um, uh, Midwest supper club. So uh, prime rib on Saturdays, fish fry on Fridays, and a nice um, wine, beer, and cocktail list. Very good. Well, welcome to Geneva. Well, thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Well, you've already been in Geneva. Love it. But, uh, love welcome, it here. Welcome to this aspect yeah. of the business community. Uh, is there, are there any questions from the dais? Uh, Alderman Ruby? Is there a story behind the name? <laughs> uh, it's a developing one, but um, <laughs> the interesting thing about it is we went round and round and round trying to figure out what, you know, the best way to, to put it into, into perspective. But uh, we kept on coming back to the Walrus Room. One thing is we thought it needed to be memorable. Uh, as, as you maybe are aware, the spot is a little off of State Street. You can drive by it if you happen to be going five, mi five miles over the speed limit there on State um, so we thought that was memorable. The other, the other thing that was happening at the time is my three-year-old was watching uh, Alice in Wonderland, and the the story, the walrus and the carpenter, is kind of this allegory about um, uh, coaxing some oysters out of the sea. And we thought that you know, food-related enough, and I think it's uh, it was at least the the winner in the clubhouse. So very good. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Questions from the dais? Well, Mr. Chairman, is there an ordinance on the books, and perhaps? Mr. Rivera could explain that while the walrus and alpaca need to be so many blocks away, or is, that <laughs> <laughs> is it has something to do with the uh, mixing of uh, uh, like linen and? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. There's no other question. Oh, Alderman Gilbert. Um, <clears throat> when do you anticipate opening? Uh, we hope to be open by Swedish days. We're going to do maybe a promotional event that weekend. Okay. Um, not wanting to deal with that number of people on our opening <laughs> week. Um, we hope to do promotional events that weekend and then open for business on the 26th, which is the Tuesday okay. following. Good. Well, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Very good. Any other questions from the dais? Yeah. Oh, uh, very good. If there's no other questions, um, all those in favor of this motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Congratulations. Final vote will be on June 4th. Yep. Cheers. Clicking right through here. Mm -hmm. uh, item 3H, yeah. recommend approval of a Class E3 special event liquor license for American Legion Post 75 and Class E4 special event liquor license for Chianti's June 19th through 24th, 2018, Swedish days. Do I have a motion? Moved by Maladra. Second. Seconded by Marks. Uh, any discussion on this item? Any visitors need to say anything about it? Doesn't look like it. Okay, all those in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion passes unanimously. Item 3I. Recommend draft resolution declaring three police squad cars as surplus and authorized purchase of three 2018 Ford Interceptor police vehicles in an amount not to exceed $112,450 from Morrow Brothers Ford. Do I have a motion? So moved. Moved by Marks. Second. Seconded by McGowan. Any questions from... Uh, the dais for uh, 
Staff? Seeing none, hearing none. Um, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Sorry you had to come all the way up here. I have another one. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, item J, recommend draft resolution authorizing purchase of a replacement 2018 Ford Interceptor in an estimated amount of $40,000 from Morrow Brothers Ford. Do I have a motion? So moved. moved by McGowan. Second. Seconded by Maladra. Any discussion or questions from the dais? Alderman Kilberg. Occasionally, I get the question, uh, the sports utility vehicle. Yes, sir. Um, what's the, um, the benefits of a sport utility vehicle for a police force such as ours? Uh, it's twofold. Uh, any other SUV vehicles can be, uh, SUVs can be used as a command post, regardless of who is actually in charge at the scene. Uh, second, uh, to accommodate the size, the different sizes of uh, personnel in the department. The, when the Ford uh, Interceptors, the sedans came out, they really contracted the size of, of, of that vehicle. It's a Taurus chassis, so it's, it's fairly small compared to a Crown Victoria. So, uh, the SUVs are the next size up to accommodate that. And uh, I mean, we have guys who are 6'3", 6 6'5", 6 and they just do not fit in the smaller cars. So rather than going with a fleet of nothing but SUVs, we've divided the fleet with five SUVs and, uh, and four uh, sedans to kind of give a mix uh, throughout. So. Okay, thank you. Sure. Any other questions from the dais? Seeing none, hearing none. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh, yeah, you're done. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, item L, recommend draft resolution authorizing execution of a contract with Copen... No. Oh, oh. Is oh, did I do... Uh, oh, oh, I already... Yeah. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Thank you. Uh, item K, recommend approval of certificate of acceptance for 2123 South Randall Road, Home Depot Outlot. Do I have a motion? So moved. Moved by Marks. Mm -hmm. Second. Seconded by Ruby. Uh, any discussion at the dais? From the public? Oh, uh, Alderman McGowan. Thank you. Um, so what is going to go in here? Do we know yet, or are we just approving the fact that it will be an outlet, out this, lot? Uh, I see. It's already in. Oh, it's already it's in. It's the public it's, it's already it's, oh, it's okay. the mattress and. Yeah, the uh, oh, uh, these usually come through to uh, city council after they've been occupied for some time. It's just formally closing the file, if that's an accurate uh, description. Okay. Thank you. I wasn't sure if it was going to be something new that was going to be constructed, but it's referring to something that's already been there. And Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Discussion? Uh, seeing none, hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Now we get on to item L. Recommend draft resolution authorizing execution of a contract with Copenhaver Construction in an amount not to exceed $838,012.99 for Dunstan Sunset Water Main Improvements. Do I have a motion? Moved by Maladra. Six. Seconded by Ruby. Um, we've got our Director of Public Works. If uh, there's any questions, is there, are there any questions from the dais? From the public? Sure. Alderman McGowan. Um, my question is, is this going to be, is this like the final cost for the, um, the upgrades and repairs that are going on at this location? Yes. The, the only thing that may change, which would be a lower cost, would be for if, if we have time before the end of construction season to be able to pave the road under the street contract uh, with Geneva Construction then we'll, it'll be actually lower and, and we'll reduce the cost some, so the overall cost. Okay, and then is the work 
is it expected that the work will be completed this summer? Yes, by probably by uh, sometime early fall, I would think. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Van Gaskin, uh, this, this is uh, by the diagram, oh, which we had a diagram up there. Um, there was... Um, you want me to pull it up? There, uh, it is there. Yeah, yeah, if you could uh, sure. bring it up for the public. There's um, uh, all of these, how much of that is directional boring? How much of that will be tearing up? Uh, all, of the, all of the area in the streets will be, will be open cut. Okay. Um, it was just gonna, it would be too expensive to, to directionally drill all that, so that's why we're, we're open cutting that. The services, though, going to the homes will be directionally drilled individually. Okay. What is the uh, standard for no? Once this is approved, then there's uh, a notification process. Residents will, you know, in the fifth ward, there will yeah we know that there's going to be a mess in front of their house. Yeah, we we've been in contact with with all the residents over in the area, either by personally knocking on the door and talking to them, phone calls, or we've sent uh, numerous letters out so far. Okay, great. So. Thanks. Any other questions from the dais? Alderman uh, Kilbert. Bob, will the streets be still passable, or? Yes. Uh, how much? How how wide is the disruption when they do this? Is it about 24 inches, or is it uh, more than that? No, it'll. It, the, <coughs> I would think that 24 to 36 inches uh, okay. for for the uh, so, open cut areas. So this will be one lane. Correct. Uh, so they'll they'll have to have flaggers out there or traffic control, and but once once they go past the driveways, then they'll put gravel in and, and be accessible for the, for the driveways. So good, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Seeing none, hearing none. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item M. Recommend draft resolution granting a utility easement at 730 Meadows Avenue. Do I have a motion? Second. Moved by uh, Maladra, seconded by Marks. Uh, any discussion at the dais? From the public? Oh, Alderman McGowan. I um, just wanted to ask, um, have the homeowners been agreeable to this easement? Yes, um, this is, I'm sorry, I forgot my, I was up next anyway. This is the property right here, and I have uh, been in contact with them several times. Actually, last year when we replaced this section of, of water main, we had to get a, um, an easement for, for them uh, for here, and this will be a uh, brand new easement going here to, to connect onto it. But yes, they've been very agreeable and very nice to work with. Thank you. So, mm -hmm. Any other questions? Seeing none, hearing none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Uh, last item of business, uh, N, recommend draft resolution authorizing execution of a professional services agreement with Hampton Lanzini and Renwick LLC for 2018 and 2019 Wetlands Management Services for Eagle Brook and on Brentwood's Pond Subdivision. Do I have a motion? So moved. moved by Marks. Second. Seconded by Cummings. And discussion at Dais. Alderman Kilberg. Um, I, my understanding was about five or six years ago we had a drainage issue where. Uh, we were catching too much water in that uh, in that uh, detention area, or essentially the wetlands there. And I know that there was some clean out that needed to be done. Uh, maybe that maybe that preceded you, uh, but I'm just wondering uh, if uh, if that's a re if that's continuing to be a reoccurring problem for us, or is this what you would consider more routine uh, maintenance? No, it, it'll be an ongoing and recurring. It's actually become a routine maintenance issue of getting the channels cleaned out. Uh, so it's a combination of uh, debris uh, washing into the area from upstream, uh, beaver dams, uh, as well as uh, muskrat dam, muskrat lodges actually, and those get removed. 
uh, within this project, it calls for eight site visits, up to eight site visits, uh, to remove those structures. So it is, it's an ongoing, uh, forever, an ongoing maintenance program. Okay, thank you. Uh, any other questions from the dais? Alderman Gowan. So what happens to the animals when their homes are are knocked down? Do they just kind of scatter and then start rebuilding right away? The golf course, uh, who actually owns the properties, uh, has a trapper to address that issue. Uh, we and our contractor are not involved in that process. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from the dais? Seeing none, hearing none. Uh, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. We're on to new business. Is there any new business for the council? Alderman Pulver. Uh I just wanted to, uh, to recognize Commander Clark uh, with the American Legion Post. Uh, Commander Clark has served as uh, the commander for a number of years and uh, has... Uh, been a real asset to the community. Uh, I know that the American Legion struggles uh, somewhat with uh, with membership and uh, keeping the organization viable, but uh, certainly uh, Commander Clark has put forth a tremendous amount of effort in leading the organization probably for the better part of a decade, I would believe. And uh, yeah, I visited with him following yesterday's memorial services, uh, and uh, he said that uh, this will be his last one. He'll be stepping down and actually leaving the community. So uh, uh, I want to extend uh, my best wishes to Commander Clark for his uh, contributions to the community and wish him well with his relocation. Thank you. Well said. Any other new business? Any uh, new business from the audience? Uh, with that, let's see. Our next cow will be, uh, next committee of the whole meeting will be June 11th. Uh, and we are on to adjournment. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. moved by Marks. Second. Oh. You beat it. Uh, Alderman, <laughs> Alderman Ruby. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? We stand adjourned.